Hello everyone, this is the main central core set for the entire 2018 LEGO City Mountain Police theme. It's called the Mountain Police Headquarters. The main build here is supposed to represent a police station that's on the side of a mountain. So the mountain would kind of go up this way and it's coming down towards this corner. So you've got more natural space here. Some of the rock faces are shown and even behind these stairs there are some more rocks and some some uh, gray slopes that represent the natural terrain there. But then they carved out this very large garage space, or at least very tall garage space, which uh, I'm assuming kind of comes down to some nicely paved roads down here, kind of the way that they've they've shown it. And I'll, I'll show you closer views of everything, but first I wanted to let you see more of the, the overall shape of what you get here with this, this core central build. It's pretty sturdy, it's deeper, has more thickness than uh, most of the, the police station and, and just emergency services builds that that lego does these days i like that i like the overall shaping and then around the back you have plenty of space the nice thing about all this extra height here that typically isn't really needed isn't really used is that you can get your hands in there that's good that's definitely a good thing ultimately really the police station you know kind of the offices part is just this this small little section up here on on the top and then you have the big garage and just a a small uh, single holding cell or jail off to the side and then there's a net shooter up on the top huh interesting okay and what is this supposed to catch I'm assuming it's supposed to catch uh, the criminal when the criminal breaks out wait a minute why did they design this place to allow you to break a criminal out so easily that they actually have a turret there to try to catch them when they get out well it's there it just helps you with play it's really going to be up to kids to decide exactly what this means and how it's going to be used but ultimately the net shooter is just used i'm going to try to do it kind of backwards here towards you but it's just used to fire that off and it actually can move out quite some distance that just fired about uh two and a half feet towards me uh, unfortunately you're not able to angle it up and down and you don't have too much uh, too much control over how far it shoots it's it's gonna fire off pretty much the, the same distance most of the time since we're looking at the the holding cell the jail area over here and since I did mention that it's kind of designed to allow a person to be broken out of it this bar right here up on the top is intended to be grabbed by this kind of grappling hook piece on a bad guy helicopter that I'll show you a little later on and you're just gonna pull all of that off the whole door gets pulled right off and then the guy inside can jump out or the guy inside could hold on to one of these bars from the inside and actually be transported away via helicopter of course the normal way to get in there is just to use the door inside his cell he has a bed and there's a sink back there no real toilet but it also has a wall that has a picture of a pet uh, predatory fish that he evidently loves. We'll come back to that strange concept in a minute, but first let me continue the tour. I like the little balcony here. You got some storage for some accessories. They are outside, but it's very convenient for actual play. The security camera is important to have here, but if you want it to actually face towards the the door area then you're not going to be able to easily have figures walk by there because it gets in their way so most of the time you probably want to just keep that up like this and that gives you enough room to move your figures around up top again there's a nice balcony space a nice lookout they use the reddish brown colored short uh, skeleton legs to good effect that all looks nice Handful of stickers are used up here. I feel like it's not too many stickers that have been used. Nice texturing with the, the, the palisade kind of log cabin style of, of bricks, the one by fours. You can also open the windows. Uh, just kind of have to get a finger all the way in there. There we go. Open the windows, makes sense to be able to let some, some fresh air come through there, especially since you're gonna have some very nice fresh air up in the mountains, I'm assuming, and you gotta communication dish up here that can be rotated around angled up and down a little bit of angle to the top of the roof and of course everything that looks like a, a decorated piece just has a sticker on it unfortunately the sticker sheet for this set 
does use clear backed pieces so you want to be extra careful with those to not get any uh, air or stray hairs or pieces of dust beneath there before you put them down. The entire roof of this office area comes off as one assembly so you can easily get your fingers in there to place figures in seats or to have them standing around. They've got a nice small build for a coffee machine with a press off to the side and you're looking at an aquarium that has the criminal's uh, lovely <laughs> beloved uh, pet predatory fish in there and so I guess that's what he's waiting to be able to get back because it was impounded from him and that's that's his buddy he, he wants it back inside here farther in there's a, a radio back at the at the far end I just get this seat hey they have actual real seats in there that's good but yeah it's just a radio it's just a sticker there and then uh, they've also got a, a microphone off to to one side and they have a, a computer over here and there's a calendar up on the wall which has a good amount of detail and you get a couple of coffee mugs. Here's a look at the same space just from above so you can get a little bit better idea of how much space you have available in there including a little bit of standing room which is a far cry from the usual thin buildings. You know this this is actually a pretty decent space. It's small but I think it makes good use of what space is available. Moving back down to the garage, they have plenty of parking space for the truck that I'll show you closer up. They've got a motorcycle down here which is actually attached with a single clip near the ground with its kind of kickstand piece there so it's not just kind of floating around. And they've got a stand for a motocross helmet there and I love the new 2018 motocross helmet piece. It looks pretty perfect to me. It's just nicely detailed and the dark blue color really does it justice. I think this is just a, a nice addition to the line and they have kind of a, a stand to hold on to that. I accidentally brought up the piece beneath it but you know this is all just nice and tidy. Off to one side they have a door there it says keep out and it suggests that there is a wild cat inside. It appears that that is a door to a cave which doesn't make sense to me. Why would you have a door to a cave. The cave is of course beneath the jail or holding cell and it had that knob on the back there that just allows you to push the cat out. I'll show you the cat up more closely but I mean you just push it and it comes out a little bit or you can push it a little bit harder faster and then it just kind of falls onto the ground. Derp. It's supposed to be like a, a pounce. It's supposed to be scary and sudden but it's just kind of embarrassing for the the majestic mountain lion. This is the front of the garage. Again, plenty of vertical space there. You can probably put taller vehicles in here, but not much longer ones. And the gate opens up and has a nice little ramp. That's that. Here's the helicopter landing pad, which is its own thing. And it's comically small. The helicopter itself is much larger, but you know, it has the H pattern on the top. Uh, it's it's pretty standard fare for you know how the the, the platform itself is set up but then this is just kind of a tower it looks like it's supposed to be kind of off off the edge like the back edge of the mountain which would kind of make sense to me for easy access but they did it as a completely separate piece and it doesn't really attach in any way to the main build there so it just kind of feels a little bit orphaned to me uh, almost almost unnecessary really but the helicopter you know uses that same canopy piece again but the helicopter itself is not that bad looking. I think, you know, they shaped it up a little bit differently around the side. They went with the no tail rotor design, which is something they don't very frequently do. Also, the, the main rotor blades have some length to them, so they're not too, too comically small. These are supposed to represent search lights. Uh, you could take one off and use it as a, a, uh, you know, a flashlight if you want to. But yeah, I think the design of this helicopter is, is perfectly fine. It's, it's a little bit normal but not bad i i, I kind of like it i think it's one of the the nicer looking generic <laughs> general lego city helicopters out there and i think you know you've got one clip on either side you've got a single control stick in there and i think you're supposed to land it like this so that you know you can get off and and uh, use the the ladder more more effectively and easily what about the interior no there's there's nothing else to see that's it Here's the bad guy helicopter. You know it's the bad guy thing because it's red. This is for the criminals. Not every day that you see 
criminals having their own kind of branded helicopter or aircraft of any kind in the, the Lego world. It's not something that they have done very frequently in recent days. This is a little bit of a different design, so I like that. I like variation. You know, the, the tail has an, an interesting change in shape to the, the boom there. It bends a couple of times. The use of the Technic pieces, I think, is, is pretty nice. I think the overall shaping of this thing is actually pretty cool. I think I, I like it better than the the police one, mostly just because it is different. It doesn't use that same canopy piece that they keep reusing. This just opens up. I mean, it's only two studs wide here, but it's, it's actually fairly decently well done to represent kind of an ultralight style. Again, it has just a single control stick. That's perfectly fine. And it has the chain there with the grappling hook at the end. You can attach that in different ways. Right now it's attached in a perfect way to keep it from being pulled off. So you can actually have a lot of tension on this line before pieces, you know, Lego pieces start to come apart. So that's a good little bit of very simple engineering. It's just sensible. This is a police focus set though. So you're not gonna have parity between the good guys and the bad guys. The police are going to have a definite advantage. And here it comes in the form of this four x four, which I think actually looks really good. I typically uh, cringe a little bit at the overuse of oversized wheels and tires in the Lego City line, but this kind of feels appropriate to me. You know, it's supposed to be a rough and tumble off-roader. The proportions aren't too far out of, of what you would expect, and I think it looks very modern. I like the use of the kind of squared off fenders there and just how much clearance, you know, they, there's not too much clearance between the, the fender and the top of the tire. This new bar, the, the push bar, bull bar, piece works great on this truck doesn't look so good without that but all of this just kind of comes together even the the yellow that's in there you know which is a little bit of an off color for the scheme i think from most angles might even add a little bit to the thing especially from the back here you get to see a little bit of yellow uh, you know underneath the the wheel wells front and back it just adds a little bit of of visual interest i think which is a good thing you've got a Usable space for the bed, you know, it's raised up quite a lot, but you know, you can put all sorts of different cargo there. You could also put a figure or two back there, good or bad guys, your choice. The whole roof comes off as usual, and inside he has a steering wheel and a console in front of him, center console. So yeah, I, I think this is good. I think the only thing that reasonably would have made this better would have been opening doors on the sides. I think this definitely could have benefited from those. The final real build in this set is just a little bit of terrain, which also doubles as a bit of hiding space for some of the bad guys' loot. You've got a couple of gold ingots there, and these are the, the pearl gold color rather than the more common, uh, until recently, uh, painted tan pieces that have just the, the brighter gold color outside. I think these look fine. And this little build is just a little build. You know, it's it's what you see is what you get. It's nice to get a little bit more terrain, but this really doesn't do much. Did you think I had forgotten about the motorcycle? Forgot to pull that out? I'm not going to forget about that. I think this thing looks good. You know, they've been using the same chassis and the same fairing piece for many years now, but I feel like it still looks good. It still works well. It's easy to put a figure on there. And this just has one single sticker on the front with the blue color previously introduced in Jurassic World. I think it just works great. Here's a closer look at all four of the cop minifigs, two male, two female, with a mixture of dark tan, dark blue, and sand blue. I think it gives a little bit of variation there while not being too colorful. I like the differences in headgear as well. And of course you saw the uh, the motocross helmet that could be used by any of these. I like this cap with the hair built into it. It's a dual molded piece. Yeah, I think all of these look pretty good. Let me take just a little bit of this stuff off. So you can see just a little bit more of that print, which is I think a, a real good one. It is female specific as is this torso here, but at least they don't have super exaggerated waistlines or anything. So I think those could easily be used for whatever figures, whatever characters you want. And that's cool. The criminals get even more variation with the tree trunk disguise being something that a lot of people have been looking forward to checking out there on the left. It has a couple of bars sticking off the sides to represent 
the the stumps of, of branches and those can be held on to you can attach other things to them it also has four studs on the top you can attach other things to that to extend it and they're semi hollow studs that gives you even more ability to to change things up if you want the guy in the center has the head that's kind of the second coming of the ninjago uh, Karloff character. It's not the original one, but a new version of a very similar thing. And all of these guys have striped shirts. Just a couple of them have the striped shirts on underneath their other more regular clothes. If it weren't for the striped shirts under there, then I think that those two torsos on the left and right could be used for other things, but instead they are kind of forced to always be criminals. So I kind of feel bad for them because, you know, they can't be reformed. At least without changing. <laughs> uh, good prints overall, but I, I do wish they would back away from the jail suits on everybody who's criminal related. I think this mountain lion or puma or cougar or whatever you want to call it all means the exact same thing. Looks great. You know, it's just a recolor with a print, but I think it's exceptionally well done. I think that dark tan color is perfect for these. And the print on the face is also pretty perfect. You know, it's not too realistic, but it's kind of realistic. It's well done. I think it kind of walks a fine line between going towards realism and, you know, accuracy uh, and just sticking with the, you know, the Lego style of having things being kind of cartoonish and comical. It's just the same cat that they've used since last year, but you get so much variation just by changing up colors and stuff. This looks just great from any pose, I think. It really looks like the eyes are looking in the direction of the head. So that's, yeah, I think that's just really, really useful. And this is a pretty good pose here, being able to, to rear it up onto its hind legs to, to reach for things, to look at things up above if somebody's been scared up a, a tree or something. Yeah, I think this is, this is really good. This is possibly my favorite of the, the new big Lego cats. It feels strangely difficult for me to come up with kind of overall thoughts and overall opinions about this set because I definitely like a number, a large number of the individual elements like the truck, the cat, the minifig selection, this whole office section here. Uh, but when you kind of put it all together, well, I also like the overall shape of of the build without looking at the the details of it but I think that all of the structure together doesn't feel like that good of a use of space I feel just personally like I wish there was more actual police station space and it's just it's very difficult for me to kind of put this to words I've been sitting here trying to trying to figure out you know how to express my feelings on this I don't feel completely confident in this. Obviously the, the net shooter thing is, is, is not something that I'm personally interested in and I don't think that it's it's well integrated here, but you know that's just one small thing. The action feature for the the cat to, to pounce out definitely does not work like that. The cat always falls on its side. I think that's just kind of a, a useless little little feature there. Uh, you know, this little thing, there's not much there, but it's fine. The helicopters, I think, are perfectly fine for what they are. The bike, uh, the the holding cell over here, the, the little jail, for its size, I think that's actually pretty good. Uh, nice amount of detail. A lot of things here work, but there's still just some, something about all of it together. Maybe it's just prejudice from me. Maybe when I see a police headquarters set, something that says police headquarters, I just have always seen large structures and I still expect to see a single large structure or a, a large complex that is all this kind of stuff here and there's just not that much of it. Fortunately, you don't have to rely on my opinion because hopefully I've shown you everything that you were interested in checking out so you can form your own opinion based on what you've seen. I don't think there's anything else for me to say so I'm gonna sign off for now but I have many, many many more videos to work on and bring you so stay tuned and I will talk to you again soon.